Praise the Lord, church. You may be seated. Um, we're, we're, kind of, we're kind of pressed for time, and um, so I want to get uh, right into what I have to say. Um, we're looking forward to our guest minister um, in just a few minutes. Um, what I'm about to do will come as a complete shock and surprise to the entire congregation, including the prophet himself. Um, so just bear with us for just a few moments, okay? I just have something I need to read. Born in Ghana, West Africa, Prophet Danso was commissioned at an early age to embark on what would be a lifelong mission to be an ambassador of the gospel of Jesus Christ. <laughs> Prophet Danso began his ministry in Ghana and was known as a young man with a strange anointing. Through his ministry, many have been delivered from demonic possession, oppression. The sick have been healed, and many have been raised from the dead. Prophet Danso is one of the first young prophets to have a televised ministry in Ghana and made it truly important that the Lord had a much bigger plan for prophets' lives. The Lord had called this young man to impact the nations. With three international and now three local ministries, Prophet Danso not only exhibits the fivefold ministerial call on his life, but he's a strong believer in passing the mantle to the next generation and raising up a godly leader who will devote their lives to preaching, teaching, and demonstrating the power of God on earth. Prophet Danso also believes in equipping the body of Christ with as much knowledge as possible in order to not be subjected to the enemy's devices. The prophet is a man after God's own heart. He is a worshiper. He is a teacher. He is a philanthropist. He is an author of 12 life-changing books. I have three children. I have one, I'm praying it's only one on the way. He is the author and finisher of all of them. Amen? He is a mentor to many. He is a mentor to many, and he is a proud papa to many spiritual children. Yeah. Give me a minute here. Hallelujah. It's good children. You guys have no idea what's going on, and look at how excited you are. Amen? whose mission is to make Jesus famous and demonstrate the power of God through miracles, signs, and wonders. Let me put the formalities aside for a minute and just say that I am grateful to him and in debt to him because at the age of 16 years old, I gave my life to Christ under his ministry. And I am where I am today because he sold himself to the Lord. Amen? Okay. And let me also say while he is your papa and you love him, he is my husband and I adore him. Yeah. Um, and I'm proud of you and I want to honor you tonight. Amen? So please, I need you to stand with me today um, and help me welcome some guests that we have here. I want you to help me to welcome Dr. Stephen Hambly, who is the Dean of Canadian Christian Theology in Calgary, Alberta. Dr. Kwesi Dadzi, and also Dr. Joseph Anto. God bless you. God bless everybody. We're going to have a special presentation ceremony tonight for Reverend Kofi. And I have uh, with me Dr. Paul Kwasi from Ghana. He's a member of the advisory board of the EOCPC. I know some of you know the EOCPC. It's the Evangelical Order Certified Pastoral Counselors, and we have a 35-year government charter with letters patent to grant uh, special certificates and, and diplomas. I'm going to ask uh, the Reverend Kofi Denso to please come up, and Dr. Quasi. As Dr. Quasi uh, presents the gown, 
to the Prophet. God bless you. I was going to say a few words about him, but I think you all know him. Senior Pastor, General Overseer of Miracle Arena for All Nations. God's Ambassadors Ministries International. Widely known for his prophetic gifts, healing ministry, and apostolic leadership. Prophet Danzai is called to deliver a kingdom message for raising champions and building leaders in the 21st century church. He's an author, gospel artist, life coach, and a worshiper, an apostle of strategic prayer. Happily married to the Reverend Joanne Denso. I want to mention the daughters, Destiny, Ariel, and Ariane. I also want to mention, I'm about to uh, confer this degree. I do want to mention that this degree has been given to many worldwide leaders, including two of the senators and the Canadian government. It's also been given to the lieutenant, former lieutenant governor of this province, Hal Jackman. It's also been given to many world uh, leaders of Bible colleges, including the Victory Bible College, the Canada College, uh, and the California Christian University. It's also been given to the President of Russia about 10 years ago, uh, Vladimir Putin. So it has been given to many people who some of you will have known and some of you have heard of. But it's my great pleasure tonight to give it to the Apostle with the Ghana background. God bless you all. We have the Reverend Joseph Anta here as a church. He's from Ghana, and I mentioned Quasi's from Ghana. I thought it was relevant that they come there on our advisory board. I thought it was relevant they come tonight because of the prophet and his Ghanaian roots. The Canadian Christian Theological Seminary of Calgary, Canada, is conferring upon the prophet Kofi Danso in recognition of outstanding ability, achievements, and influence in his devoted service to humanity, we are giving him tonight the honorary degree of Doctor of Divinity. This is convocated, was given Calgary, Alberta by the Board of Trustees at a college upon recognition of the faculty corporate by the federal government of Canada, in witness whereof we've issued this diploma, fixed the seal of the college on this day in September in the year of our Lord, 2015. God bless you, Kobe. Picture time. I'm just going to flip this. This means he's convocated. That's what they do after the graduation. God bless you all. We didn't want to take up a lot of time in your service, but we did want to honor the prophet, Pope Adanso. God bless you all. God bless you.